Hey everyone, greetings from Brno, from sunny Brno today. So starting off December with a little sun. It is a welcome relief. The past week, it just seems like it has rained every day. So excited to see the sunshine out today. Um, and I wanted to showcase something different today on my wine video, red wine. Um, so there is red wine in South Moravia. The rumors are false. There is delicious red wine, age-worthy red wine, right here, 20 minutes, 30 minutes from our place right in the city center. And uh, my latest blog article touched on a few of those grape varietals. Um, talking a little bit about Pinot Noir today, one of my favorites. Um, so Pinot Noir is a very difficult grape to grow. Um, here in South Moravia, it's known as Rulonske Modre, um, but I'm going to call it Pinot Noir. All of these wines are labeled Pinot Noir, so no need for the Czech translation today. Um, I wanted to talk about this grape because it is such a tricky, difficult grape to grow. Um, on the vine, the grape grows in a pine cone shaped cluster, hence the name Pinot. Um, and because of this shape of the cluster, the grapes are always kind of stuck together and they grow really in a really tightly packed cluster. What that does on the vine is that it prevents the grapes from being aerated. And if you think about grapes when they're in your fridge, if one grape gets moldy, it quickly goes to the other grapes. Same thing happens to the grapes on the vine for Pinot Noir. So the difficulty in growing Pinot Noir, additionally with its very thin skin, is that it is susceptible to mold and mildew on the vine. However, by using very careful vineyard management techniques and by green harvesting, Pinot Noir can be very concentrated, can be age-worthy, and really delicious. Um, so I was really surprised to see such beautiful examples of Pinot Noir right here in South Moravia and excited to talk about them here, of course. So the first wine I'm going to be doing, I actually featured on my blog. Um, this is a winery that's quickly gained my attention. Um, so small family winery, this is the Narstavi Valka. So I'll hold the bottle up here. This is their Pinot Noir Reserve 2016. This is Viber Zihros Nu meaning selection of grapes. So these grapes were left to hang on the vine a little bit longer than what is typical. Um, this is a dry wine. This uh, wine has been matured in old oak barrels. Um, Carol Valka is the winemaker here. Um, he, they have been making wine since 1991, since just after the fall of the Iron Curtain. They planted their vines and they've been making really exceptional wine. So I was recommended this bottle by Pavel over at Vinoteca Utri Knijat. So thank you, Pavel. Great recommendations as always. Um, so let's get right into it. So like I said, this is their Pinot Noir Reserve. So I'll hold the glass up here. The wine has a very, very typical color of Pinot Noir. It is a bright ruby color. Because it does have a few years of bottle age on it, it's starting to develop a slightly brickish rim but very typical of Pinot Noir being matured for a few years in bottle. Um, but what I love about Valka's wine is that they're very, uh, th their main purpose is to produce wines that are varietally specific and terroir driven, meaning that they wanna produce the best expression of the grape from the vine. They're not doing anything to manipulate the grapes in the cellar, or on the vine, they're not using any additional fertilizers in the vineyard. They're just producing beautiful, simple, but classic styles of their grapes. So let's get into it with this nose. So beautiful, clean expression of Pinot Noir, very red fruited. I'm getting a lot of raspberry, red currants, kind of cranberry. There is a slight bit of kind of a tilled earth, like when you've just been gardening in the garden and you've, you've dug some fresh earth up, it kind of gives off that smell. There's a slight savory component that's coming through too, but very fruit driven characteristics on the nose. Let's give it a taste.
So very clean. Uh, this wine has medium plus acidity. Um, very low in tannin. Uh, Pinot Noir, like I said, has a very thin skin. So typically it doesn't lead to a very tannic expression of wine like Syrah or even Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot. Pinot Noir is, is known for its acidity, um, but can also be age-worthy. So I'm getting more of that earthy component on the palate, slight umami character, slight mushroom character. This would be delicious with roasted mushrooms, um, but very varietally correct, meaning this is Pinot Noir, pure and simple. Um, there is no manipulation of this wine. It sits at about 13.5% alcohol. Um, because these grapes were left to hang on the vine a bit longer, they do have a higher sugar concentration, inevitably leading to a higher alcohol content. But the alcohol is not very strong on the palate. Typically, Pinot Noir sits between 12 and 13% alcohol. Um, but at 13.5%, it, it's not this uh, volatile alcohol component on the nose. It's not off-putting. Very pleasant and very light in color. I actually wasn't expecting the 13 and a half, but it, it, it's, it's kind of hidden behind all of that fruit concentration. Hmm. Beautiful little Pinot. I mean, I can imagine this with mushrooms, kind of game meat, um, some kind of turkey, duck, um, maybe not game as much as um, poultry. That's what I meant, poultry. Um, but a, 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 a more dark-skinned poultry. I don't know if I'd do chicken. I'd do more duck or goose or turkey with it. But beautiful example of Pinot Noir. And I'm so happy to be able to taste these wines. They're such small productions. So always thrilled to showcase a small family winery here in my videos. So going into the next winery that uh, has a little bit more global recognition, uh, Venarsky Valka is not exported. However, Stapleton Springer is. So I'm gonna mention a few things about Stapleton Springer here. This was actually one of the first, this particular one, the Stretier, was one of the first Moravian Pinots that I tasted here in Brno. Um, it kind of set the bar high for me. This was really an exceptional example of Pinot Noir. So about the winery, the name Stapleton is a bit odd. It's not a Czech name. In fact, it is American. So Craig Stapleton is the founder of the winery. He founded it in 2004. He was the U.S. ambassador to the Czech Republic under the Bush administration between 2001 and 2003. So he knows South Moravia, he knows the land, and he knows some winemakers. So he partnered up with a lawyer, Benjamin Stapleton, as well as Yaroslav Springer, winemaker here in South Moravia in Bushatica, and they created Stapleton and Springer Winery. So Yaroslav Springer loves Pinot Noir. 90% of the production that they make is Pinot Noir. So they make about eight different variations of Pinot Noir, depending on the vineyard site um, and depending on uh, the clones that they're using. They're using Burgundy clones. So these are clones of Burgundy grapes that they produce here in South Moravia. So the expression that comes off of these wines is, for me, it's kind of like if Willamette Valley met Pomard in Burgundy. It's this really fruit-driven red fruit matched with earth and concentration that it kind of falls between these two different wine worlds, this new world meets old world, and their wines blew me away. So going into their Stretier, Stretier meaning fourth, so this, is, this vineyard plot is actually named fourth, this is their 2017 Pinot Noir, again, grown in Bojatica. Um, this sits at 12.5% alcohol. These wines are unfiltered. They are, um, there's no fining or clarification on this wine. They're um, just pure expressions of Pinot Noir. So going into their Stretier, um, which, uh, Again, so I was really stoked to be able to bring home these bottles. Um, kind of a funny story happened yesterday. I was at Vino Zeblitzka, it's a wine festival throughout a couple different wine bars in Brno. 14 wineries were represented and pouring up their wine. And this was my last stop uh, at La Boucher at Jakubske Namiesti. And uh, the man pouring the wine um, was very kind and 
he let me bring home the leftovers. <laughs> so these wines were open yesterday. Um, hence the, uh, there's not so much of the Stwertier left um, because it was obviously a favorite yesterday during their tasting. But he was really sweet to be able to uh, give me these wines to bring home. So I knew I had to talk about them. I actually featured them as, as well on my blog post about uh, red wines here in South Moravia. And so uh, excited to be able to show them on video today too, quite unexpected. Um, so going into their Stwertier, so this has a beautiful ruby color, slight violet hints to it too. Um, this wine is slightly cloudy because of that unfine quality, but I wouldn't call it hazy. Uh, it just has a little bit of not so clear note to it, um, but very typical of wines that are unfiltered. So this wine has a more floral component to it. Um, definitely a red flower component, almost like a red rose. Um, very fruit driven, lots of red fruit, I'm talking raspberry, cranberry on here. Slight hints of, of vanilla as well. This wine does see 12 months of maturation in small French barrique. But it's not woody. This wine does not have the cedar quality to it, even a spice note to it. It's definitely more fruit driven. Let's give it a taste. Wow, well, this is really, this just reminds me of drinking Willamette Valley Pinot. So shout out to Chris Dom. Um, this tastes just like it. So this wine is, is, is balanced. It's medium minus body to it. Very typical of Pinot Noir. It's not a heavy wine, um, but it has so much concentration on there. Lots of earth, lots of umami character and mushroom. Again, that red fruit character comes through. The acid is not as high as the Volca, actually. It's a little bit more tamed down, even though it's a year younger. The acid is there, but it's just this little kiss inside of your cheeks. Um, has this beautiful black cherry note to it. Very cherry driven on the palate as well. Nice long finish. Um, this is a wine that is, sits at, again, 12.5% alcohol, so not too high in alcohol, so right on. Um, one of my favorites here in, in this uh, beautiful wine country here in South Moravia. Um, so going to the last wine, uh, typically I show two wines, but I'm lucky enough to have two of Stapleton Springers, so figured go big or go home. So this is their Ben's Reserve. This is actually my husband's favorite. Um, so this is their 2016 Ben's Reserve. So again, Benjamin, Benjamin Stapleton being one of the co-founders of the winery. So this wine sits at 14% alcohol. This is a little bit more of a, a bad boy in terms of Pinot. Um, definitely more concentrated, a little bit heavier. That alcohol tends to lead to a higher viscosity in the, in the glass. So let's give it a look. So it's it still has that ruby character. However, it's leaning more, a little bit on the rim towards that brickish color, um, like a brick red. But perhaps because of the age, it's three years old as opposed to two years old from the Stretier. Almost four years old, getting into 2020 here. Um, but I can just tell by swirling it in the glass, the legs here are a little bit more viscous. It kind of clings to the glass a bit more than the Stretier. A little bit more body to it as well. Let's give it a smell. So this has this more cooked red fruit quality, cooked cranberry, macerated strawberries, a little bit more of a, a cooked red fruit note to it. Also, there's, there's a slight fresh paved road, which is one of my favorite expressions. So shout out to Jen King, um, leading me to that a few years ago. It's like when you just drive by a, a road that has been freshly paved, meaning new, new tar put on there. Um, this has that quality to it, but it's an admirable quality to get into wine. This is not a negative quality at all. This is a, something I look for in these highly concentrated Pinot Noirs. And there's almost like a... Um, like a, a spiced quality to it as well on the nose. Almost like a cardamom, a very floral quality to it. Let's give it a taste. 
Mm. Already I can tell that that higher alcohol really comes into play. This is a heavier wine. Sits on my palate a bit more. Still has some nice acidity to it, but definitely a, a bad boy in Pinot Noir. This is, this is a heavier style of Pinot Noir. Um, I think that's why my husband likes it the most. Um, but this is a Pinot that, that is really a, a food-friendly Pinot. I mean, a, a duck confit with this would be spot on. Um, even a mushroom risotto would be quite good. It needs something earthy, something with fat, um, and something with a little bit of, of body to it um, to match the body of the wine. But, wow. Slightly floral note to it on the palate as well. Longer finish. Um, that alcohol does t tend to lead towards a longer finish. Um, but beautiful examples of red wine here in South Moravia. Um, so when I first moved here, um, everyone was telling me, don't drink the red wine, don't drink the red wine. Uh, it's not worth your time. Stick to Argentina and France and, and uh, you know, Australia. But I think the red wines here are beautiful. Um, I think that they're certainly higher in acid and lower in tannin than some of the red wines I'm used to, like Syrahs or, um, or Cabernet. However, um, I think red wine has a rightful place here in South Moravia, especially under the hands of excellent winemakers who have been in the wine trade for decades. Um, they know their way around the winery and they know their way around Pinot Noir. So next time you are at your wine shop, check out some of these Pinot Noirs from Vinarski Valka, Stapleton Springer. Um, you can pick any of these up at Vinoteca Utri Knijat or Moravska Banca Vin. Um, Moravska Bankavin, I know, sells Stapleton Springer. Uh, uh, Vinoteca Utri Knijat sells Vinarska Vivalka. But definitely get your hands on some of these. I mean, these are some of the best examples of Pinot Noir I've tasted. Um, I mean, this is like if Willamette Valley meets Burgundy. So pretty cool. Um, small production on these wines. So get your hands on them soon. Otherwise, I will buy them all. Um, so cheers to Pinot Noir. Cheers to Stapleton and Springer and Vernarsity Valka. You make delicious wine. And cheers to you. Thank you for watching. Happy December. Enjoy some red wine. Cheers.